All images and video footage was pulled from online sources such as YouTube, IGN, The Verge, and also Steam. No screenshots or footage was recorded during this stress test. If you are a true Counter-Strike or Valorant player, if you love to just sweat as much as one single, non-grass-touching, no-bitch-getting person can sweat, then Spectre Divide is the game for you. What up, everybody? It's your favorite Dutch cookie, and I've just put in three hours so far into the Spectre Divide stress test, and I have to fully admit, this game is going to be a great addition to the tactical space. To start, the game is really good looking graphically, and the contrast of the map colors to the cell shaded look of your character, guns, and abilities is fantastic. When walking around the maps, you can clearly feel the Counter-Strike inspiration in them, but it's actually done well to where it doesn't feel like you're playing just some Counter-Strike clone. Now, I'm not allowed to show any footage from the stress test, but talking about your experience is permitted. So here we go. This game really is all about the aim. Fucking alts, fuck your abilities, the aim. Now, don't get me wrong, there are some good abilities in here that are quite useful, but honestly, good aim will triumph over any ability in this game. I can't count how many times I was one tapped by a pistol and my goofy ass is holding a fully decked out AR hitting shoulders, knees, and toes. Brutal, but it's honestly super fun. Now, I was a little worried with the whole duality aspect. The game would play a little more arcadey than tactical, and that honestly couldn't be further from the truth. This is definitely a slow burn methodical experience. The sound design is quite good, so running around all over that metal or wood is going to get you one tapped extremely quickly. So how does a round go? Well, the round starts and you are looking right at your specter. You open up the buy menu and you'll see primary guns, each with a list of three secondaries below at different prices. As we know, it's two of you, so you purchase your guns in twos. Whether AR with a shoddy or a sniper and SMG, you always purchase your weapons in twos. Outside of that, the buy system will be immediately recognizable to any CSGO or Valorant player. Now, you've bought your weapons, abilities, armors, etc. Next step, you get to place your specter anywhere on the map as long as it's behind the barriers so you can buy, put your specter on B by elbow and put yourself on the A site somewhere and quickly switch between to either hold an angle or to help your team if the other team is pushed onto a site that you're not on currently. A good thing to remember is wherever you leave your specter, it's like a free alarm. If an enemy is close to it, the UI will alert you that someone is close in yellow and it'll alert to danger in red, letting you know basically your specter is about to get shot, so you might wanna just quickly switch over to it and see if you can catch a kill. Now pay attention to that alert and sound, and also the alert if your specter was killed. You don't wanna be spamming that button and you can't do shit because you didn't realize your specter died. Yes, yeah, I, I, I did this a lot, so trust me, it's a thing. The rest of the round, though, plays out like any other CS round, where someone defends while the others attack, plant the thingamajig to do the whatchamacallit, Bob's your uncle. Again, this isn't groundbreaking stuff, so it's not unfamiliar, but it is fun, and truthfully, the duality mechanic adds some great depth to this game. It's really not just some cheesy addition. Duality definitely can shape a round. You gain access to different height on maps with it, great coverage of each site, a free alarm to get a sense of where enemies may be on the map, and a little more. One thing though, if your specter is on B and you're on A and you bring your specter to you, there is travel time. It is not some instant pop-up, so pay attention to your distance from your specter. If your specter is far from you, it's going to take a second for it to catch up to you. If it's right across from you, then yeah, it's pretty fast you'll know because there's a little line or whatever when you when you throw it you'll see it like whoa, 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 like sound waves shooting whatever it, you'll you'll see what i'm talking about just keep that in the back of your mind okay sweet now one little last piece your abilities aren't determined by characters in the game there are what they call sponsors 
Companies that manufacture different ordnance and gadgets, and your chosen sponsor is the set of gadgets and shit you'll get. Here are a few screenshots of the sponsors in game. There are currently eight total, with four already unlocked. Now, all in all, I think Spectre Divide is a really great experience. The team at Mountaintop did a fantastic job, and you can definitely feel shroud within the map design and gunplay, and it comes together beautifully. That's it for me, though. If you were in the stress test, let me know what you think. Did you have fun? Did you like the duality mechanics? Do you think this thing has potential? Does it suck butt? Drop it below. See you in the next video.